Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my June favorites and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with my channel or if this will be my last video or if I'm going to do a couple more. Um, I'm just not sure that I have the time to put into doing YouTube videos between filming and editing. Um, I'm not sure that my heart's really in it as much as other beauty video girls. So we're going to see what my decision is. I know I really love my blog, so I tend to put more emphasis on it than I do my YouTube. So we will kind of see how that develops from here. Um, but today we are going to do my June favorites, and I do have a couple really awesome products for you guys. First up is a lip product, and I know you have all seen this around YouTube because I swear everyone has got one, but it's the EOS Lip Balm. And I like the Kind Sweet Mint, and when you open it up it looks like this in case you have not seen it before. And I love it. It's minty smelling, really sweet, um, feels great on your lips, very cooling and refreshing without being tingly like most mentholated lip type products. I use this every night before I go to bed. I use it in the morning after I brush my teeth and everything for that added bonus mint. I throw it in my purse to keep it with me for freshness. Um, and then I'll even take a little bit and put it around Kira's lips for her just so she doesn't end up with chap lips or anything like that if we're going to be out in the sun or outdoors doing things and the air is going to dry everything out. So I definitely recommend this. You can pick them up at Walgreens, Target, pretty much anywhere. And uh, again, my favorite is the Sweet Mint. Next product is also a lip product, and it's by NYX, and it is the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this color is Istanbul, and I'm currently wearing this one. It's kind of a Your Lips But Better nude pink. I love this for an everyday wear, especially if I'm wearing more color on my eyes and everything. I like the way it looks. It's very, very neutral and simple, but still looks like you're put together. Um, it smells like frosting. It smells smells amazing and I really really like it um, the only thing is as I do notice I have to reapply after eating or drinking stuff like that it does tend to move just because it is a cream um, also you need to put a lip balm or something on because it's a matte and it will tug tuck into your creases of your lips if you have very creased lips like my lower lip is very creased um, it will kind of slide into those creases unless you put on a lip balm then you're good to go so again that was the color Istanbul by NYX and I will do a swatch, I have some other swatches on my hands please forgive me but that is Istanbul and that is one swipe see super pigmented very very pretty now the swatch next to that is my next favorite product and it is NYX matte lipstick in shocking pink and you can see that and then right here is the swatch for that. It is a bright, beautiful fuchsia pink. I really, really like it. It's great for days where I'm just like not feeling it. My hair is up in a bun. I've just got basic neutral eye makeup on. You pop this on and you feel glamorous. It just, I don't know what it is about it. You put it on, you feel like a rock star. So I just really, really, really like it. I've worn it several times. I love it for the days that I just really need that extra oomph, and I feel like a lip product really can give you that extra bonus that you're looking for to make you feel good about yourself. So, But I'm a lip product addict, so that's just my opinion. Again, that was the NYX Matte Lipstick in Shocking Pink. And you can pick this up anywhere NYX is sold. Usually Target or Ulta is where I would get NYX products. Or, of course, you can always order from the NYX website. I really like NYX products in general because they are great pigmented and they're also cruelty-free, which is a huge bonus for me. Next product is also a NYX product, but it is a face product. And this is the NYX Mosaic Powder, and the color is in Paradise. So you can see there, whoop, move my fingers. It is a mosaic. Um, you can't really do the individual colors because of the way that it is, which is kind of a bummer because I'd be interested to see which each individual one looked on. But I tend to just swirl my brush in it, and it gives you a really nice, it's right there, just sort of shimmery, summery color. It looks it looks much more bright on your cheeks. I'm actually wearing it today. I think it's a great summer color because as you get more and more tan or as you're wearing self-tanner, I tan just from walking outside. That's just the way my skin is. And 
I find that this actually stands up to my tan. I can still show a little bit of blush without looking like I'm from the 80s with that giant ray of blush across my cheeks and everything. So it is a really nice little powder. Um, really, really pigmented and fun to wear. So that again was the NYX Mosaic Powder in Paradise. And it was actually part of my, if you read my blog, I got a bunch of NYX freebies when I ordered from Ulta, and this was in the freebies thing. Along with Istanbul, it was also in the freebies bag. Alright, my next product is a skincare product, and it is my Clarisonic Mia. And it is in lavender, because lavender is my favorite color. And I got this at theskinstore.com because they were having a sale. These normally retail for $125. I got it for $99. Um, my husband actually got it. He got it for me for a Mother's Day slash wedding anniversary present, and I love it. It has changed the way my skin feels. I just love the texture after I've used this. My skin feels really soft, very smooth. Um, it's not like it decreased my breakouts. I don't break out that often unless they're hormonal breakouts. Um, so I didn't really notice anything like that, but I do notice it pulls a lot of the makeup off my face. More so than when I was just doing a wipe and cleanser and everything like that. Like now with this added bonus, I'm really getting the junk off my face at the end of the day. Even if I've worn no makeup, you can still see the dirt and oils that have built up from just being out and being part of the world during the day. It gets all that stuff out. Um, it is also very much decreased the bumps on my nose because I have very large pores on my nose and this has really made them appear smaller, feel smoother and that is a huge deal for me because I hate putting on foundation it looks great everywhere else and then I've got this ridge of bumps. It drives me nuts. So this has really really improved that and I like it and it paired with my L'Oreal Texture Perfector which I've mentioned in a favorites before they take the cake. It makes my face feel amazing and I wish I would have bought this sooner. So if you're on the fence about getting a Clarisonic, just take the plunge. Your face will thank you. It feels amazing and I think it was totally worth the $99. So, really good. Alrighty, next product is an eye product and I actually did a review on this. I don't know if it's up yet on my channel, um, but if not, we'll do a quickie here. And that's the Miss Manga, Miss Manga, however you pronounce it, Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. And I was suckered in by the packaging, but I also love, I call it manga, I'm sure it's pronounced manga. I'm sorry <laughs> to anyone if you're offended by my pronunciation. I'm from the Midwest, I'm not from Japan. So, it's an art form, it's a comic style, it's beautiful, I love 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 it and this is supposed to give you those kind of eyes well I do notice it does give me a lot of volume which I really enjoy it doesn't give me a huge amount of length so this is definitely a volumizing mascara so if that's something you're in the market for then this is amazing I really really like it it's easy to remove but does not smudge during the day I do not like it when I by two o'clock I've got raccoon eyes that's ridiculous to me so this has really stood the test. I wore it to the zoo when we took Kira to the zoo. I wore it, I've worn it pretty much every day for the past month, and I really like it. It's not too heavy on my lashes. It feels really good, so I would say it's a vote yes. However, it's not a lengthening, it's just a volumizing. Alrighty, next product is a huge deal because I had a dinosaur phone. Um, it was just the freebie phone that came with our plan. I've had it for probably four or five years, but I went and finally upgraded my phone, and I now have an iPhone, and I'm so excited. And I believe this is the iPhone C. No, I, I don't know, but I am just really, really excited about it. I love the fact that I'm with the technology and everything like that. I, I couldn't be happier. I love having all my apps right there. I love that Instagram is right there, even though I'm not a huge Instagram person. I love that I can check other people's Instagrams. Um, it's just changed my life. I really didn't think I would be one of those smartphone type people, but I love it. It's come in so handy, and it's also helped save me money because I've got my Target cartwheel and all that stuff here, and they can just scan it, and I love that. So, my awesome new iPhone. Alrighty, and next we will have some books. 
because I like to include books in my monthly favorites. I am trying to read 52 books this year. I'm currently at 21. I'm like three, four books behind schedule, so I'm trying to get through them. But um, this one I read in a day, and I really liked it. And it is the Lucky Dog Matchmaking Service by Beth Kendrick. Her writing style is hilarious. This book was so cute. It's definitely chick lit, but it is so cute. And chick lit, not chick lit like the gum. Um, it is so, so cute. I um, really enjoyed the story. It drew me right in. I finished it in a day. It is, it's a quick read for me. It's about 310 pages or so. And for me, that's a pretty fast read. So I just really, if you love dogs, if you love romantic kind of comedies, um, you will definitely like this. It's super fun and cute, and she's a very good writer. She's a new author that I've discovered through this book, and I will be reading more of her books. So I, um, yeah, I think this is a good read, a very good beach read for those of you that are lucky enough to wander off to the beach and enjoy your summer vacation there. So again, that was The Lucky Dog Matchmaking Service by Beth Kendrick. Now this I discovered my mom likes to pick up hardcover books at the thrift store and collect the series. Um, so she picked up the third book in this particular series that I'm going to mention and thought, oh, you know, Kimmy will probably like this, and she gave it to me. I realized it was the third book. I went to the library, got the first one, read half of it, and then immediately ordered the entire series that's out right now. And it is the Water Song Novels by Amanda Hawking. And these are amazing. This is actually my copy. This is not the library copy. I, put the, I sent the library ones back. Um, I've finished all four that are currently out. I think there's another one coming out very soon, or it may be out now. Um, but I have the, the other four. I've read them all. I love them. It is actually about sirens which is very cool if you're into Greek mythology, which sirens were one of my favorite parts of Greek mythology. I always was very compelled by that story of, um, of them luring men to their death, essentially, with their song. Um, you know, sailors would abandon their ships to come and hear these beautiful women sing, um, only to find out that they were, like, man-eaters and things like that. So I don't want to give anything in the book away because it is different from the Greek mythology, but it is siren based and they're it's just very well written yes it's young adult literature it's my favorite kind of literature to read so for any young adults re you know, watching this or any adults that are just like me and really love young adult literature this is an amazing series and um, the first one is wake the second one is lullaby third one is title and the fourth one is elegy um, I do not know what the fifth one is, but I do know there is a fifth one coming out. You can get these all on Amazon, which is where I got them. They're a decent price, and you can get the hardcover, which makes me happy because I'm a hardcover girl. Alrighty, so that is it. That's everything for my June favorites, and thank you all so much for coming to my channel and watching. I hope that I will have more videos. I'm still deciding if I'm going to or not. If not, you can always find me five to six days a week at chaosandcoco.blogspot.com. That is my blog. I blog there every day, um, except for the weekends usually, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great, great place for me to kind of get out there, and I get to share more with you all than I do in these videos. So definitely check that out. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you would like to, if you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. It lets me know that this is worth doing or, you know, if maybe I should just stick to the blog, which I have a bigger following on. So I love you all. Big hugs from here, and we'll see you soon. Bye.